Good morning, guys. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Thanks again for flying with me today. Today we're flying out to uh, North Connell Oban, Echo Golf, Echo Oscar Airport. Out that way, so that should be a pretty good flight. Uh, the weather there is marginal GFR, uh, so cloud cover of uh, 2000. Should be all right. We'll have a little tour of the airport there. It is an aftermarket airport. I downloaded from from uh, flightsim.to by Studio CD. Uh, released about a year ago. Updated in July. So we'll have a look at that airport. Um, I'm not going to do a tour of uh, Edinburgh today. I promise you guys, I'll get to doing it one day here. It's a pretty cool airport to look at, but. Uh, take a lot of time so we will get to it uh, one day here and uh, so far it doesn't look like there's any controllers on right now I mean that can all change but so we might as well get to it eh all right here's our lovely DA62 hop on up Alright, so here we are at stand 200 at Edinburgh. So our route today is uh, Grace 4 Delta, Grace Foil, and then Oban. Uh, we plan to take off runway 06 here at Edinburgh and uh, to land at runway zero, uh, 19 at uh, Oban. We'll see if the wind changes though, because that runway is a little challenging with a large mountain there. So. So we'll have a look there and uh, see if the weather does change or the wind does change. It already started uh, moving off of runway 19 there, so runway 01 there is is a lot easier to get to. Runway 19 is not your not your standard approach, but kind of exciting to do for the video. But anyway, we'll see. It's a 74 nautical mile flight, uh, 82 with our routing, or 85 with our routing. We have six passengers, 1,181 pounds, for a max of 1,288 pounds, and we have 53 gallons of fuel, so. All right, we're good to go, guys. Let's get our checklist started here. We'll go before starting, power levers idle. They are idle. Right away, we'll check our fuel selectors, first thing. Fine. Parking brake. Set. Turn this right off. Avionics master is off. It's off. Gear selector is down. Yes, it is. You can see it there. Donators check both on. Fuel pump left and right. They are off. As you can see, the switches are off. The white switch on this side and that side. Electrical master on. So go ahead and turn that on. And again, I'll just check and see if anyone's on. No, they're not, so. Strobe lights, ACL, go ahead and turn those on. Engine master on. Turn on our left. Let our glow plug warm up there. Crack the door a little, and uh, left prop, clear. We'll fire that engine. All right, gauges will come alive here. Wall pressure. Temperatures, and we'll do the same with the opposite. So we'll go to the right engine. Again, we'll let the glow plug warm itself up. Get that message there on the PFD. Crack that door a bit. Yo, clear right prop. There we go. And our gauges should come alive here. All right, we'll set our uh, idle RPM just below 10. 10% here. Okay. After starting engine, Avionic Master on. So that's on. We'll go ahead and set the calm. Okay, so our power levers. Power levers are fine. Electrical equipment is on as required. 
Fleet Instruments and Avionics. We'll go ahead and set our flight plan into our uh, MFD here. So we'll go flight plan. Origin. Oops. Origin. And our Echo Golf Papa Hotel to San Amburu. Rain use is six. En route. Uh, what was it? What were we doing here? Grace 4 Delta. So we can go procedures. We can go departure. Octagosa. Uh, Grace 4 Delta. Okay. Enter. We'll go down here. These are all your waypoints here. And load. Oops. What happened there? Six, yeah. So en route. And we'd have foil. That departure will put us right to grace. So foil. F O Y L E. Foil. F O Y L E. Foil, foil, foil. Not Australia. Okay. And then O B N. Oban. Okay. Destination. Echo Golf, Echo Oscar. North Cornell, uh, yes. For now, we'll put uh, runway 19. Nice challenging runway there. <laughs> So there's our flight plan, you can see the end of it here. Foil, so grace to foil, we'll bind. Okay, and here's our departure right here. Should be a f fun one to hand fly, that figure eight looking thing. Intercept. Okay, so anyway, yeah, we'll get up there. Do that, no problem. Right, so that is set. Go ahead and set our Altitude for this flight will be recommended by uh, Sim Brief to go 6,000. So. Seems like some of the mountains are quite high out that way. Be more comfortable at 8,000, but I chose 6,000, so we'll go 6,000 if we need to change. Let's go ahead and modify that. So, we've got our altitude, we'll come down here to our QH. Q and H for Edinburgh. Q and H, Q and H. It's loading up on my Metar Taf. One zero one nine. What's our runway heading here? I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I think it's like five four or something. Nope, it's 60. 60 magnetic, so... Go ahead on the Bravo, change that. Set this to 6, zero, 6, zero. Alright. Go ahead set our transponder. DME 108.9 There it is, it shows up there. Wow, guys. Sure is a quiet day here at Edinburgh. Can't, no one's even said a word on the Unicom. Anyway. Oh 
the way, we are ready to go. Throttle back. The rest of that checklist there we're going after. So strobe lights, yes they are on position taxi. Check our trim here. Trim it up a bit there. Taxi parking brake release. Brakes test flight instruments. Have a look at them in the cross feed. Fuel selectors. Okay, we're ready to go guys. Alright. Go ahead and release the parking brake there. Make sure our taxi lights are on. Let's make our call here. How come that keeps clicking something there? That's strange, because that's my button for uh, centering the view. I don't know what's going on with that. Seems like it clicks something there, but I don't know what it clicks. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll go with it. End of road traffic, Charlie Juliet Sierra Victor Romeo, type Diamond Twin. Stand 200, taxiing to runway 06 via Papa Alpha Bravo, holding Bravo 1. Uh, End of road traffic. Okay, let's make our turn here. Lots of left rudder and get around this unit here in these stairs. Pray there's no hitboxes. Oh. Alright. I don't know what that's doing. <laughs> Sounds like it's clicking a menu, but just strange because I haven't changed any uh, controls. Alright, so this is Papa. Left here on Alpha. Looks like some low cloud coverage here. Yeah, it is a beautiful airport. I'd love to love to do a tour, but it might have to be a separate video of just the airport because it's, uh, it's a massive airport and uh, there's a lot to look at. So. guess those are the fire training aircraft there, the blue one and the red one and the, all these here at the airport. So I, <laughs> I was getting thrown off by these things. Meteor Reads, Echo Golf, Papa Hotel, 191-120 Zulu. And we got uh, 0300 at 4 knots. 350 variable 060. 9999 scattered 2700. Temperature 11, dew point 5. QNH 1019. That's for Edinburgh. So. Go ahead and do our gust takeoff check. So we'll start with our turn the taxi lights off, leave them back. So the gas gas is good, undercarriage is down, switches, pumps can go on. Taxi lights off, landing lights on, set one notch takeoff flaps. Go ahead and turn on the pedo heat. Alright. We'll make our call out. <coughs> Edinburgh traffic, Charlie Victor Romeo, taking off runway 
06 from Taxiway Bravo, uh, Grace for Delta departure. Annaboro traffic. Okay, so let's everyone know what we're doing here. Looks like our, ma our map got rid of that uh, figure eight it had there. Okay, full power. Power check. Yes. Okay, rolling. And airspeed's alive. Gauges are alive. Let's maintain center here. I'm looking for 75 knots. Maybe almost 80 knots there. Rotate. Yeah, you can definitely feel a weight with all the passengers. <coughs> and the weather changes like that. Welcome to Endeavor. <laughs> okay, tap the brakes. Gas check, gas is good, undercare should come up. The flaps will come up. Nose will pitch down naturally, get us some speed. <coughs> and we want to follow our grace for Delta departures. We need to turn left here. We go ahead off. Landing lights go off. Adjust our throttle here. Go ahead and call Edinburgh. Edinburgh traffic, Charlie Victor Romeo climbing 1,000 uh, for 6,000 via Grace for Delta departure. Edinburgh traffic. Great. So they know what the scoop is. We're going to go ahead and continue our climb up to 6,000. Follow our departure. I'm just roughly following it. I mean, I'm hand flying as well, so bear with me, guys. Transition altitude, I believe, is 6,000, so that's where you can go ahead and change your altimeters. I'm going to get into a left turn here in a second. Yeah. Start rolling out on that. GPS updated, but our okay. There we go. Let's try and keep our nose up there. Sandborough behind us on the left. Great. Just over left here a little bit. at this point we're clear there's no one on there's no one in our way we can go ahead and proceed direct to grace Let's set that now just come down here to our flight plan it's kind of hard to do when you're stick flying so Edinburgh traffic, Charlie Victor Romeo is proceeding direct to Grace. Edinburgh traffic. Wonder if I'm missing something. I don't know. Glasgow Tower's on, but not Edinburgh. It's very quiet on the old uh, radio here. The right frequency? <laughs> Okay, there we go. Oh, 
A little IFR here. Great. Wonderful. Yeah, so you get up there and you get to a good height, you can usually proceed direct to. And even sometimes the center will tell you direct to, so. So that's all fine and dandy. Cool. So let's adjust our trim here. We're a lot of force in the stick here. There's our 1,000 foot warning. Looking good, looking good. It's our CDI center there on the GPS. We go ahead and set standard now. So, so we're not out of the loop here. Okay, we'll center ourselves. Start. Go. Cool. And we're a little high there. We're still sending some power. Attitude. Trim off that excess. Got too much power in there. And let Charlie take over. Engaging autopilot. Yeah, that's basically how you hand fly uh, departure there. You could do the whole thing. Uh, traffic depending, of course. I've, I've done them. Hand flew the, both uh, Ford Delta and the uh, Grace 3 Charlie departures. It's a good little challenge. Fun to hand fly when you can, for sure. It's, that's what it's all about, you'd have to say. Let's put our engines up to 85 so we can get flying here. No more than 85, though. Okay. We got for winds, we got a 9 knot headwind and a it's like an 18 knot crosswind to uh, be over to the south. It's so weird, I don't know what that clicking is with my center button there. That button on my Thrustmaster usually centers the uh, view for me. What's going on with that today? Go ahead and get right on 6000, so we'll center IAS. Throttle down a little bit there. There. All right. Six miles from Grace, and then let me guess another 50 something from. Uh, oh, I guess we got foils. Yeah, foils the other uh, waypoint there, so 25 from there, and another 25 till Oban. Possible. 
All right, guys, what do you think of the channel so far? Just started this channel, what, a uh, week, week and a half ago? I've done a video every single day. I think it's coming along okay. I figure I'll do, uh, probably do other games as well. I enjoy simulation games there. Seem to be my my cup of tea. I mean, I've played everything from uh, <laughs> Minecraft to Roblox to lots of different games. I'm not big into uh, uh, what do you call it? monsters and stuff like that. I'm more more on a realistic level. However, I played uh, Fallout as well. The whole Fallout series, I really like that one. But all the zombie stuff, kind of it's kind of draining, boring, annoying. <laughs> has to be a really good zombie game for me to play but Rust is another one I play that's a that's a fun one I haven't played that for a while I've been strictly uh, flight simming for almost a year may will be like a a year almost cons consistently you know I've flight sim since I was a kid but for a year consistently is really really good so like another cobalt turbine farm down there. Wind turbines made out of cobalt and when their life ends they get buried in the ground. Oh, how about that? Eh? I guess Grice is right around that wind farm. Let's check our airspeed there. 44 and now we're turning to foil. What did I say? Yeah, I said about 25. It's 23. jaunt down that way. Oh, I got a good headwind there. 20 knots. Gee. Really pushing out our airspeed. What's going on with our engines here? Drop down. Oh, yeah, we dropped down again for our uh, descent to 6,000. That's right. Always check your gauges, guys. The Unicom is oddly quiet. What's happening here? So we have centers on. There's E H A A W Center. Not sure what that is. Uh, there's also M A N underscore Center. Not sure what that is either. Why not tune one and see what's happening? 2575. That'd be an Amsterdam Radar. Okay. Apparently they have an ATIS on 132.975. Let's see if we can pick that up. I wonder if it's something with my system here. Strange. Do, 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 133, 200. Let's see what that's all Scottish. Uh, if you could confirm what heading you wanted to turn left to. 
It's heading up to 270. Uh, are you able to? Were you able to fly the Listo to Sierra departure, which would be the SID assigned by ground? I never looked. Five seven, Roger. Uh, if you can't do something, don't accept the clearance because what happens is we expect you to do something, clear other people to do things around you, and then you don't do it and conflict with them. Uh, there's no shame in it. Just tell us. Uh, so make, keep the heading for now, and I'll turn you south when I can. Uh, Absolutely, guys. I mean, we all want the best simulation for for ourselves, that's why we do this. It's nothing personal, I mean, if you can't do something or don't understand something, take a minute, either ask, text the guy if you don't want to ask over the air, no big deal. Just want the best sim for, for us and uh, everyone around us, right? You just Like you just said, the uh, controller's got to work around the instructions they give you with everyone else. Instructions to give the next guy with everyone else, the next guy with everyone else. So these guys, they got a lot on their plate. I respect that. So, so I guess that man center is uh, Scottish control covering. It's not covering Edinburgh or this area here. It's looking further south. But I've never seen it, man. Uh, man center. Just click on the. Uh, Names there on Repilot and it gives you the information. So. Yeah, I guess my mic is working, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. Right, so we got a 19 knot headwind and a 7 knot crosswind again from the south. Expecting foil in about 4 minutes, 19 seconds. Have a look at the uh, Oban Medar TAF report here. Okay, so marginal VFR looks like green. So the meter there reads Echo Golf Echo Oscar 191 120 Zulu 250 at 6 knots 9999 light rain broken 2300 temperatures 92.6 QH 1019. So that wind there, you have a tailwind for runway one, a slight tailwind, almost at a crosswind, so, I don't know, six knots, I could probably do a one-nighter approach, I'll see why not, gotta go around, gotta go around, no big deal. Let's see if we can tune Oban here, 110.55. No. I think it would pick it up, I guess we might be a bit too low yet. See, the thing with doing runway 19 with the 2,000 foot cloud covers, there's a mountain range right there, so the way I like to do Oban is uh, descend, descend to final, make your right turn, and then come on in that way, but to do 1-9, you'd have to, have to be descending, come out over the water, and I guess do a somewhat right, uh, right pattern, modified right pattern to get into 1-9, you have to go along the coast there, and descend, 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 and slip in that way. Did circuits there on zero one before, but not one nine. Let's zoom out here.
Yeah, that controller is further south. He's down here. EGNT was on his list there. So. Bumping up on foil here. We are in the clouds. So there's foil, and we are. Oh, it's a little off there. <laughs> 39. Uh, hold on. All right. Just double okay. three zero two. Report your level. Uh, going to uh, twenty thousand. Just quite level two zero. Sorry, I'm near the uh, autopilot. Bird one four eight passing four one four zero altitude. Shoot on for eight eight firm. I can see you on radar. So it's climb flight level or one six zero. Two bird one four eight climb flight level one six zero. That's down to one of Charlie Scottish Roger climb flight level two eight zero. No, uh, it's the it, it, it restriction to count. Yeah, so they're quite busy down there, that's for sure. Sure, that little guy on there, he's pretty good, you know, for a younger guy. Pretty good with the traffic and stuff, so that's good. Good to see. Typical cloud cover out this way. I don't really care to do runway one nine. We still got that uh, slight tail in there. Runway one. Hmm. My call. My call. chart here and have a look. I'm just looking at the chart, guys. Looking at uh, 
runway length and stuff like that. So. You know what? We'll do one nine. Let's do a visual one nine. Why not? Now we've challenged ourselves once in a while here. Right? Twenty eight miles, six thousand. Aerodrome elevation is twenty four feet, so. Set that up, vectors. And we'll load that. Load. Obstacle clearance not provided. Yes, yes, yes. Zoom out here on our flight plan. Manual select stream. Final. Yeah. You know, it says here. I think I'll stick with my plan of going over the airport. Um, sending down about 15 nautical miles out, we'll start our descent down to uh, 2000. We'll fly overhead the airport, come back around, and make our right turn to uh, the final there. 1 9. This is a challenging airport, ladies and gentlemen. Fun one, though. Not for the faint of heart. This is not your standard procedure. I mean, I don't know what the actual procedures are for this airport. I guess I can look them up on uh, the old chart box here. Let's do that. I think with chart foxes, it doesn't support my. Okay, welcome to chart fox. Yada yada yada. Fox, E G E O O. Yeah, all they give you on chart fox is the aerodrome charts. So that's okay. We can we got a plan. It's not a busy airport. In fact I've never seen traffic there. Probably been there uh, ten times in the last year, maybe. Maybe less. Okay, twenty miles. Let's go pre-select our altitude here. Selector all the way down to 2000. You can see the mountain ranges there. Kind of taper off towards Oban. We'll go ahead and put in uh, QH 1019. Since we are at 6000. Proper QH for Oban. I know if you start descending too soon, you end up kissing up against the mountains, and I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> okay. It's five miles. It's great after this range. It should be about 15 nautical miles. See what the wind's doing there. We still got our we got light rain, and we still got that tail in there. Um, four four knots at two five zero. Go ahead and set the one nine er runway heading one eight eight magnetic. So S is one eighty, south is one eighty. Five six. 
Okay, so we can go ahead and descend. Some action on the old uh, unicorn on the text. A little call out. Whole band traffic, uh, Charlie Juliet's here, Victor Romeo type diamond twin is 15 miles east inbound to land runway 19. We are 5,700 descending 2,000. Uh, make a right turn to find runway 19. Whole band traffic. Okay, so that should give them some information. And I plan to finish my flight up here and go for a walk before I go to work. So 12 miles, 26. Set rate a little higher here. I mean, with all this technology on the airplanes, look at this synthetic vision. And then you go to full map there. Imagine I was in a barren with steam gauges. Whole different story then. We'll get there, guys. We'll do that once or twice. We'll do a couple flights in the old Baron or Cessna steam gauges. Challenge myself and see how well. So let's go over our descent. Power lever as required. Yes, it is. Air speeds. They are okay. Trim is autopilot. Right. Is that menu click again? I don't know why that does that. So I wonder how our passengers are doing here. Join the flight. Start to hear the rain now. Beautiful mountain ranges around Oban. Okay, guys, it sh shouldn't be a shouldn't be a rough descent or anything. It should be a nice smooth landing with the right turn. Final. All right. Okay, let's go back to center here. It's pretty cloudy. Mucky down here. So we're 3,300. That looks close. Ooh, ooh. It's beautiful out here, out in the countryside. Reminds me of home. <laughs> okay, there's a warning for 1,000 foot from our selected altitude. Of course, we'll do our gust check and combine that with what would be a landing check. Look at all the wind turbines. They're going today. Looks like we got some rain. As the meteor did mention. Yeah, this is almost bush flying now. Okay, there we are. We're 2000s. Ready to fly over Oban. I'm going to get close, I'm going to dox the autopilot, take her over manually. I'll drop some speed here. So our flight plan is going to put us to the Oban uh, VOR, I believe it's a VOR. And it's right on the southern, uh, it would be south, yeah, well, somewhat center of the airport, I guess southern, more southerly though, by runway one. There. Well, we could probably drop down to 1500. Go ahead and put that in. IES, FLC. Yeah, there she is. There. This is the downloaded airport of uh, Oban from flightsim.to by Studio CD. Released about a year ago, guys, and uh, he updated it in July. 
Had a quick look at it the other day. Looks pretty darn good. So, drop some throttle, drop some height. Low band traffic, Charlie Victor Romeo is uh, flying over the airfield 1500 for a right turn to final. Low band traffic. Oh, the rain stopped. Yeah, she's really green out here. I'd imagine they get a lot of rain. Um, it's like mystic, eh? I would imagine. I would imagine. Let's go ahead and do this with their heading again here. Did the other day. We'll heading hold. Go we'll ahead down here and our speed is dropping there. So. CDI. Set our CDI to the uh, runway heading. What was it? 187. See that mountain right there? It's, it's what we're going to contend with here in our landing. So. So it's off the autopilot. Just take her manually. Drop down to a thousand. Approach. You kind of got to follow the uh, coastline there, down to the runway. So. There's our gear lady. We'll go one to rear flaps here. Check gear. Just pitch back up. Check gear. Check gear. A thousand feet. Check gear. We'll fly north here. 900 feet. We can dip down a little more, that's alright. Go ahead and do a gust check. Gas is good, undercarriage is up for now. Put her down actually. And switch it. Pumps on, landing lights on, pedo is on. We got one notch of flaps ready for this. This is, uh, I've never done this approach myself. I read about it. No. <laughs> I actually just thought of this approach. Okay, so here we go. 500. 500 feet. Little great rudder in there. Don't get much adverse yell on the dime. It's pretty darn good that way. speed up here. Where's my runway? She is over there. Okay. We're getting a little low here, guys. Put the power back. Back on. Now, now we're flying. Oban traffic, we're final for runway 19. Charlie Victor Romeo, Oban traffic, final for runway 19. Oban traffic. Okay, we've got to slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. What do you guys think of that? That's pretty darn cool. landing, that's okay. Flaps can go up, brakes can come on, pumps can go off. We should have touched the power there at the end, but eh. Something like that could cause damage, that's for darn sure. For some reason I think V-Pilot disconnected. Taxi lights can go on. Okay, let's 
check. Yeah, Reva disconnected. Connect it back up. What happened? Okay, so wow, that was uh, that was pretty fun. <laughs> Here, it looks like we're on Foxtrot, and that brings us to the terminal. So, hold on, traffic. Charlie Victor Romeo is clear of the active uh, Foxtrot to the terminal. Hold on, traffic. See, that's uh, that's bush flying there. I mean, no two ways about it. Definitely bush flying. Hope these trees don't have hitboxes. In fact, what I'm going to do right now is uh, record my FSE. So I'll parking brake just in case we crash into a tree and it resets the sim, messes everything up. So we don't want that. Okay. Okay. FSE is recorded. Go ahead, and taxi now. It's the thing with FSE. If it detects a crash or something, everything's all messed up then. Had long flights where I've hit something, didn't know it was there. And that's that. I might be in a. I don't know where I am. Maybe I'm not at the terminal here. <laughs> Myself into some trouble here. It's a south, uh... Oh, okay. I'm on the right taxi. The terminals, yeah, it's up there. Uh, Charlie and Bravo. Well, let's taxi up that way. Shall we? Okay. We shall. Open traffic, Charlie Victor Romeo, taxiing to the terminal via Echo Charlie. Whole bunch of Alright, alright. Hey, this says Fox Trap, but on the chart here it says Echo. It's okay. Unfamiliar with the airport. Request vectors. There, that looks more like a terminal. <laughs> so focused on our approach, I didn't even see. Pretty cool approach, though, hey guys. I mean, I hit the runway pretty darn hard, but that's that's flying. Like that is that's the flying I like. So this is this uh, Charlie then? I assume so. Taxi signs. Big C there must mean Charlie. Okay, well, pull over here and. Uh, load the passengers and shut her down. Let's pull over on the grass here. Go ahead, parking brake. Drop the throttle. Checklist. Parking. Parking brake set. Yes, it is. Avionic master off. Electrical consumers. Taxi lights go off. Strobes go off. I didn't have anything else on. No. Uh, electrical consumers. Engine master. We'll start with the right engine. Go off. We'll watch the gauges die down there. Here. We'll go with our left engine. Nav lights can go off, mask can go off, battery can go off. Alright guys, you like the flight there? That was, that was a pretty fun approach for, for me anyway. Fire up the Xbox controller, we'll have a little tour of uh, Studio CD's uh, version of Oban Airport. Downloaded this from flightsim.to, you can as well, it's uh, free. You can tip on that website, so 
If you like it a lot, go ahead and tip the uh, creator there. All right, so there's our plane. We get out, chalk the wheels, tire down, put the covers on. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty fun approach for runway runway one nine. I haven't done one like that before. I did uh, in X plane. I did the other. Flew over from the west, turn north, come around that way once, but not the coastline approach. So. Okay, so where are we going here? All right, let's walk back this way. Have a look at the airport here. So it looks like they got a building here. Some cars, static cars. Road out there, he's got a gate here. Small little parking lot. Looks like a fire truck of some sort, fire station. There's a control tower. Another gate, another gate there. Sort of baggage cart here. Skids. Guardrails. A building over there, not sure what that is. Alright, this looks like some helicopter parking here. It's got some stop signs marked here, which is good. Stop or spin tires on pavement, whichever you choose. <laughs> Taxiway Charlie 0119. He's got the lights here. Those are cool. Pretty cool. This looks like some sort of pattern here. Pattern brick or something. So that's the terminal building with the control tower and the ramp. Here's Taxiway Bravo 0119. We taxi out. Go either south or north here. Check north and speed her up. Got a couple, couple buildings along there. Is that the, uh, is that the pappy there? No. So I don't think there is one along here. But. Taxiway Alpha. Okay, so Alpha comes here. I guess, I guess that would be some more parking there. Taxiway Alpha. There's a fenced off area here with some tanks and stuff. Some more buildings. Nice little fence around the airport. Trail leading up to what looks like a little village over there. Not sure if that's in the stock MS FS2 2020, maybe. Oh guys, can you hear the water? Just the sound of the water. Soaking wet in the rain and <laughs> Hear that water. Alright. North Connell. Third of a mile there. One of a mile. Should we speed up the drone speed here, guys? Real slow. Drone speed. 75. Robot running. <laughs> Another little building shack here, probably for the lights or something. Oh, I am very tall again. See the traffic off on that road there, you can see it going by. And I'll zoom down here. The wind's off there. What happened here, guys? What road is this here? How did we get. How did we get to this piece of asphalt here? Oop. Oh, okay, so we ended up on a taxiway. Golf. Golf leads out this way. I mean, this must have been a old runway or something. Got a windsock going. This must be for more parking as well. Overflow or something. This would be the uh, VOR, I believe. I can't read with that, so it's too blurry. Blurry, blurry. This will be where we're pointing with our aircraft when we're on our way. So 
is Connell, the town. Perhaps this is their fire training? Pretty cute, eh? <laughs> Alright. This leads back to Gulf. I think. Yeah, some helicopter parking here. He did a pretty good job on this airport. The surrounding area. He has the bridge there as well, so that's pretty cool. His threshold. Another little village here. Looks like a football field, or as we call it in North America, soccer. <laughs> soccer, soccer. Then, guys, we taxied in here in air. So, this looks like a hangar. Taxi around this way. A couple containers. Fuel tank, maybe a fuel truck there. Yeah, stunning job. And this this airport's for free, guys. I mean, download it if you fly in this area. It's definitely worth it. 100%. And if you feel the need, if you, if you like it a lot, tip the guy. And yeah. So let's head out here and see the entrance to the airport. See, did he do the sign? Oh, right on. Look at this. Egg. Ar Argyll, Argyll Air Services, Oban Airport. This project has been part, part financed by Europe and Scotland, making it work together. Right on, right on, right on. Looks like a little road, possibly to that soccer field and village. Whoa! Rare. Moving fast here. Pretend we're on like a quad or something. ATV. Whoop. Right. Up here, so this goes up to the highway. The entrance to the airport. Hard to get the right height. <laughs> ah. That's pretty neat. Lots of cars. Oh, he's passing. No cars coming the other way, though. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Slow that down again. Just too unrealistic for me. Yeah, so he did a superb job on this airport. That's for sure. Oban Airport. Welcome to Oban Airport. Okay. Hey, drive in here. Go ahead and park in here. Jump out. Walk over to your plane. That's that, guys. There's a quick tour of a uh, 3D tour of Oban Airport by uh, Studio CD from FlightSim.to. Go ahead and have a look, and uh, like, subscribe. I plan on showing everyone a video of my sim pit when I get 10 subscribers, and I plan on airdropping some lightning Bitcoin to uh, lucky subscribers and commenters. So keep us here. You can get paid to watch my videos if you want. I want to spread the good word of Bitcoin. All right, guys. It's a hard money, a sound money. And everyone should have some, for sure. All right, so I'll leave it there. Like, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'm really enjoying the YouTube thing. Makes makes my flying a lot more fun. And uh, hope to see you all in the next one. All right. Take care. Have a great, great day, guys. And big thanks.